Hi, this is Surfer Ray with NorCalBees.com, and uh, what do we got going on here? Well, I'll tell you. This was a hive that's about a mile and three quarters from my house, and the rule of thumb is you move it three feet a day or more than three miles. So it would take a long time at uh, three feet a day to get it here. <laughs> so uh, what I did is I sealed them up at night, and uh, I brought them home. And uh, on the back side of this hive, I have an inspection tray that I pulled out. And uh, that exposes an inch and a half by the whole length of the, the hive gap in the back. And then it's screened underneath. So that gives the bees plenty of ventilation because that is critical. I actually killed the hive by trying this a few years ago. Um, so, and then I let them sit for a couple days in there. So this really gets them uh, realizing that something's going wrong. And then I put this uh, brush on there and make it so they have to like squeeze their way out. And this also tells them, hey, we're not in Kansas anymore. What's going on? So as you can see, these bees are coming out and they're like trying to orientate themselves to where they're at. And the idea is that it, by doing all this to them, that they're going to reorientate themselves back to here and not go back to the original spot. So uh, we'll check in later in the day back where they were and see if there's any bees returning and see if this whole, uh, whole plan works. All right, we'll check in with you later. All right, now we can see the girls are definitely... Uh, Waking up a little bit more here and uh, are really like trying to figure out where they're at. So that's exactly what we want to see. And uh, kind of some confusion and, uh, you know, some reorientation. So uh, like I said, in a little bit we'll go down and see where they're at and see how many uh, have returned to that original spot. And if a bunch of them come, what I'll do is I'll set up a little small hive down there and I'll capture those bees and then I'll add them to a hive that's uh, on one of my other apiaries that is farther than three miles away so uh, um, we'll get those bees too if they uh, if they do return but I think this is gonna work pretty good all right here we are at the old hive site and um, as you can see I, I seen one bee in there there he is a, a drone <laughs> the drone didn't get the message there's maybe a couple bees here, um, but yeah, it, they work pretty much flawlessly. You know, if only two or three bees came back, you know, it's towards the end of the day here. And, uh, um, you know, when they don't get the message, there would be hundreds of bees here. So, uh, yeah, it worked. Because all I see is, uh, actually, they're all drones. <laughs> so I guess the, the men just ain't quite up to par here and getting what's going on. But uh, yeah, very successful, very stoked. All right, Surfer Ray, NorCalBees.com, another uh, how-to video.